a striker, holding a professional record, 18 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 134 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Bahia, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda the Lioness New Both of you have been given your instructions. Touch gloves if you like. Let's fight. You're right, Joe. Amanda Nunes was not always the object of everybody's affection, and she has this crowd eaten out of her hands tonight. Nunes, a minus 380 betting favorite, taking on Jermaine Durandamy, who comes back at plus 300. Ma'am, are you ready? Ma'am, are you ready? Fight! She is not just a woman who wins. She's a woman who has stopped every single women's bantamweight champion in the first round. That's how good she is. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo. Brute for those with a fighting spirit. Durandami in blue. Amanda Nunes in the black and gold befitting a champion. Now already we're seeing a very technical fight. Ooh, big right hand over the top. That's her best punch. She fades low, throws that big overhand right. She is so powerful that she throws that punch to end every single fight. Inside leg kick is there for Durandamy. And the look in her eyes, I mean, she has such killer instinct. Good low kick by Nunez. Durandamy needs to establish that jab and space. Nunez has to be careful with the leg kick. Those Muay Thai strikers will return the right hand. And the random is very powerful herself. Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. The random has got to stay away from the cage. Oh, oh no, it's big take down. Beautiful level change by the champ. When she put Durandamy down in the first meeting, that was the beginning of the end for Jermaine. We'll see how Nunez proceeds here. We'll see how much Durandamy has improved her ground game and her defense off her back. Oh! Oh, look at that guillotine. Oh, yeah, it's tight, it's tight. Durandamy's in real trouble. She's, She's trying to fight the trouble. hands. Durandamy's trying to fight the hands. Her head is almost yeah, out. There it is. Nice job by Jermaine. Greets Nunez with a short left hand. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Amanda has got to clear this tie clinch. You don't want to be sitting in the tie clinch with Jermaine Durandamy. We've seen her in fights like this before. And her clamp is excellent. The way she clamps on yeah. her neck is excellent. She's burying her head yep. into the side of Amanda Nunez which not only helps her, it keeps her in tighter in that position. Amanda's free now, and the man looks for the takedown and gets it again. Sucks those legs in. Ooh. Big ground and pound by the champ. Beautiful ground and pound by Amanda Nunez. She's got her stacked up. It's so crazy, too, because there used to be questions about Amanda's cardio. But the fights have been so fast lately that there's not been questions. But if you can withstand the, if you can withstand the rush, right? If you can stay longer, has Amanda fixed that? She showed it in the fights with Valentina Shevchenko that she has. Nunez picking her spots well here. Nasty ground oh. pass. Good up kick by Durandamy. Jermaine staying collected here, coming up on 90 seconds to go in the round. And because Amanda's so powerful, you cannot just jujitsu stand up. Because if you run into a strike, you'll be in trouble. Oh, big ground strikes here. Oh. To Nunez pulled the legs. Oh, nice up kick there. Durandamy needs to turn. Durandamy's in good trouble. The fight's oh almost done. She's getting pounded. Keith Peterson's got to push over. 
she's not turning the ref's room. She's, she's trying to just hold position. She needs to turn. Need belly. You got to go to belly. You got to turn to a single if you're the landing. You have to do something. Because, again, now you've taken a lot of that damage. If she can get to the next round. Arm triangle. Or arm triangle. She's getting it. Oh, that's it. That's tight. Amanda's going to split out. It's she's going to tap. She's going to tap. Well, she's using the right defense to answer the phone defense. Yeah, but look but at her. It only takes a certain amount of time. She's got to stay tight, keep pulling at that arm. Oh, she's going to put the knee on the yeah. belly. Oh, she's going to be Wow. Oh, oh slicing oh, elbows now. Up oh. kick for Jermaine. And this again, like, just these actions, right? Keeps Keep Peterson off of him. 15 seconds now to the end of the round. A lot of output, a lot of energy expended by Nunez here to try to finish the fight. Looks like Duranami is going to survive Incredible. and see the stool. Wow. Wow. I never thought she was going to survive that arm triangle. Durandamy was using the proper defense, the answering the phone defense, but that squeeze of Amanda is next level. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You breathe. She's hurt. You're doing everything perfect. Breathe. That's all I have to do. Yeah, give me one more good breath. There we go. Control yourself. There you go. The plane is going exactly according to. Let's go. Let Please respect her. You watch Amanda Nunes go in here with the jab. Pause this right here. Jermaine tries to return. Amanda will then take her level down. Change levels into the hips. Let it roll. Look at that. Boom. Into the hips. Hands locked. Pressure goes up, down. That starts. That is where the round started to change for Jermaine Durandamy. All the wrestling she wasn't able to handle so well. The unauthorized reproduction or distribution of this copyright work is illegal and punishable under law. Round two of a possible five, Amanda Nunes and Jermaine Durandamy. But if you're Durandamy now, you got to get a little more aggressive. Because just standing there, you know what can happen under Amanda Nunes. And she goes immediately with the high kick. Oh, she's swinging. Durandamy swinging. Oh, beautiful low kick by Amanda. Nice jab by Durandamy. Yeah, that Durandamy jab got Nunez' attention for a moment. Here's another one. UFC 245 is brought to you by Six Underground, a new film from director Michael Bay and Ryan Reynolds, only on Netflix. That low cap kick, Amanda's landed several of those. Durand's right actually Durandami. checking him, and I said, said she's got to be careful throwing those outside kicks because Durandamy won't return with a right hand. And that one really did, stag it staggered Amanda a little bit. Oh, right hand for Durandamy. Right hand by Durandamy. That makes the have to wrestle here. She needs to get back to wrestling. Jermaine has landed a couple big rights in this round. And more importantly, Jermaine is controlling the center of the octagon. She's not getting pressed up against the cage, so she can back up when Amanda comes forward. She has space. Like right there. Oh, that's a beautiful level change by Amanda. I mean, that was a beautiful... That's a beautiful level change. We talked about the better takedown defense of Durant. I mean, it does not matter when you're beat that badly on the entry. She had stuffed 22 straight shots in the UFC coming into this fight, but of course, Amanda Nunes was not the woman trying to take her down. Durandamy might be just trying to get a stand up here. If she just clinches and holds on, maybe she thinks Keith Peterson will stand him up. And he might. If the audience starts booing, yeah. that's... Uh, honestly, that's a big factor. Nunez was, was landing by that was fast. but Keith Peterson Very fast. with a quick trigger. Maybe yeah. he heard me. <laughs> Good way through round two. Peterson doesn't want the action to stop at all. Well, I don't believe in any stand-ups. I really don't. Oh! Question mark kick.
It's been a long time since we have seen Nunez experience any sort of adversity. Durandami's framing her off. She's framing her off. If she can get away, that will be very disgusting for the champ. Oh, big knee, big knee. Amanda got hurt. We have got a fight. She's hanging on. She got hurt. Again, going high with that knee. This is the most trouble we've seen Amanda in in a long oh, time. A long She's time. framing her off again. Amanda has to react right away, man. She can't stand there and wait for Durandami to attack. Amanda's shooting in low. She Got another it. takedown, yep. This is exactly what she needed. Amanda needs to steady herself a little bit, right? Everything's moving so fast. She's experiencing something that she hasn't for a long time, and she's having to wrestle more than she does normally, so that will fatigue you a little bit if you're not careful. Well, let's see what kind of butterfly guard Durandami has. Does she elevate Amanda, or does she just sit here? She's got to elevate her. She's got to lift those hips up, but that requires energy. But the proper way to use this position, she's got to put weight. She's got to carry some of Amanda's weight to keep Amanda from able to utilize those hips and it'll reduce the amount of power that she can get in the ground and pound. Now she's in, oh, triangle position, triangle position. Amanda spins out of the black belt in jiu-jitsu. You get a person like Amanda Nunes in that position, you gotta cinch it up quick. Yeah, you're not gonna just throw up a triangle. You and gotta really it. attack it, yeah. You gotta trick somebody like Amanda Nunes if yeah. you're gonna get her in something like that. Amanda looks tired. Yeah, I mean, she's had to wrestle more than she has in yes. a long time. And she's experienced diver adversity. She's been hit. And hit hard. Hit hard. Tonight's crowd shots brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile and never miss a knockout with their reliable network and unlimited data. Nunez with a personal best four takedowns landed tonight against Durandamy. I mean, you watch Amanda, look at that beautiful level change. Into this double leg, runs the pipe a little bit, takes it down. Then Jermaine Durandamy throws that head kick right after that straight right hand. Got Amanda on her bike, lands the right hand, jumping knee. I mean, this is the most trouble that we've seen Nunez have in a long time. But another takedown by Amanda. Look. It was a very tough round for Amanda, but I still yeah, feel she did enough to when win the round. Guard, please, please, Amanda, respect your upkicks. When you get to the guard, use your elbows. Use your elbows now. Take her down and use your elbows. Ground and pound. Let's go get her to the ground, Amanda. Let's go, champ. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. Jermaine Durandamy certainly Am you ready? Am a you different ready? Fight. fighter than she was back in 2013. We'll see how it goes here in this third round. Durandamy in blue. Amanda Nunez in the black with gold trip. Amanda's coaches want her to respect the up kicks, man. She's just kind of trying to walk through the up kicks whenever she's taking the Jermaine down. There's a change in the tide in the stand up, and you can see it. Durandamy is getting off these shots, being very technical, avoiding the bombs that Amanda's throwing at her. Oh, beautiful, beautiful level change. Oh, look at this. Two good. Oh, nice. She's been down. relentless on those takedowns. Well, Jermaine was expected that she was gonna get a lot of this. The takedown defense has not held up all that well. She has been able to minimize some of the ground damage, though. Well, she convinced Keith Peterson to stand her up once. She's got to hold on and she's got to get the full guard. If she can do that. Oh, she's sliding that leg across. The crucifix. Well, Nunez corner wanted more activity, more ground and pound when she was able to secure a takedown. 
Now trying to manipulate some limbs here. Well, you see Amanda reaching back to try to clear that left hand. She can almost put the randomly in the half guard position if she's not careful. Wrist control. Wrist control and elbow. Hand control and elbow. That's what you want. Mike Brown there in the corner of the yeah. Nunes. Very good. Very There's good. an elbow. Jermaine's going to try to use that elbow. cage. The difference in grappling is substantial. Yeah, it's massive. Jermaine's grappling is almost entirely defensive oriented. Defense oriented grappling is great, but Amanda's just a far superior submission artist. She can control positions better. Well, here's that position that the randomly got to stand up last time. Yes. Amanda needs to frame her down to get space to land. Last time it was full now, now guard, frame though. On her, frame on her a little bit. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Good, good. Elbows, elbows, elbows. Elbows. Now Nunez starting to open up a little bit here. She's got her stacked up against Saturday afternoon in the half guard. Doing good, doing good. Keep Jermaine is doing the right thing. She's got double she underhooks, but she, uh, Amanda's very high on her. She's got yep. it stacked. The height, man, is the height. The height yeah. wins these positions. Yes, nice. This is and she's eating her up in the body. One more. Hold the door. Hands up. Hands up. Okay. Yeah, you got to pry your face. Yes, sir. You're going to pry your face. Yes. And for a striker like Durant, I mean, this is exhausting. Yeah. So for as tired as, yes. as Amanda yeah. may be, you got to think that Jermaine Durant, I mean, is really yeah. feeling this herself. Jermaine, Jermaine is striking from the bottom. Like, she landed a couple of good punches from the bottom. When you have a really good striker, you can land good shots from the bottom. It's obviously not ideal, no. but you have to protect yourself. She's looking for the arm triangle again, but she's trapped against the cage. She's going to have to stretch her out. Oh, man, there it goes. Nasty. These are big elbows. Big elbows by the champion Amanda Nunes. There's oh, another kick. Oh, she cooked it. She turned. She oh, turned. Man. She turned. Amanda's not leading with her hips, trying to clear Jermaine's feet. You should always lead with your hips whenever you go into somebody's guard, land on their back. She got stunned with that up kick. Jermaine should be scrambling here to try to get to yeah, her feet. She's waiting too much. She should take single leg here. Turn yes. to her right hip. Take a single. She just doesn't have the grappling skill to maneuver. She's blocking these shots, though. There, like that. There it is. That's there all it is. you have to do is that. That'll get you back to your feet. And there it is. And she's up. I mean, that's worst case scenario for Amanda. But she's got to separate and get out of there. Right back to the ground late in the round. Amanda is doing a great job of wrestling and just going to the next position. She's like a step ahead of uh, Jermaine Durandamy in the grappling. Big third round for the champion. Big. Third round. But let's look at that up kick from the bottom. We're going to see the first the takedown from Amanda. Beautiful outside trip. Gets her down. Now here's the up kick that rocked her. Watch this. Boom! On the chin. You she see stopped. her legs yeah, her buckle. Pause. She had a pause after she took that shot. And that is right on the chops. I only want you to breathe. I told you already to respect that up kick. Find a way to fight again. Get the clinch. Get her down. Use your elbows to the ground and pound. We're going to the fourth round. Yeah, this is the fourth round. Ground and pound. Use your elbows. As soon as you get to the ground, use your elbows. Close the distance. Do not get up kicked anymore, Amanda. Breathe. Let's go. Round four as we hit the championship rounds. Red De La Cruz, thank you very much. Nunez really believes, Joe, this is her best weight class and forces her in training camp. You can't cut any corners when you have to make 135 pounds. If the stool's any indication, she still has a lot left in the tank despite all the output there in round three. A lot of respect from these two women. 
Jermaine's doing a great job of checking those kicks. And Matt, she's looking for a big punch there. Yeah, she starts to load up at the beginning of these rounds. Nunez attacks the body. Look how she checks those low kicks. Not a big action, just a slight turn. Yep. See, but that's what, that, that's what happens, right? Every time she tries to overextend herself on a punch, Amanda just changes levels. And she's so much more physical, it seems like, yes. than Durandamy. That when she gets to her body or her legs, she's able to just take her down. Well, she's just got grappling strength. And Jermaine just does not have that. Just not on the level that Amanda has it. Oh, big elbow. But even here, right, why, why is Durandamy not trying to push? Shove the heads towards your legs to try to turn down to your knees and get back to your feet. Especially when now it seems as though you have the advantage on the feet. Amanda Nunez has now tied Ronda Rousey for most takedowns in a women's UFC title fight with six. Rousey took Misha takedown six times back at UFC 168. Big left there from Nunez. The one thing Amanda's doing great on top is not allowing the random me to take an underhook, right? See how Durant, Jermaine never gets the right underhook. Amanda's doing a great job of just controlling that arm so that Jermaine can't escape from him. If you're Durandamy here, what are you trying to do? You hip escape, and what are you doing? Well, you, she can do a few things, but the, the problem is Amanda knows how to counter everything she wants to do. When Amanda's on top, the only thing that Jermaine's going to be able to get off is what she got off before, when she got a hold of that. Say, oh, that was a big elbow. That was a big elbow. The problem is the, the difference in grappling is the difference between like a blue belt and a high-level black belt. And that's what Jermaine is. But in order to get back to that single leg position, she's got to have an underhook, yes. right? Because she's got to move Amanda over the top of her so that she can get down to her hips to grab a single leg. And right now, Amanda's controlling the far side underhook the whole time. She's trying to get to a position where she's in full guard. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. oh. She doesn't have it. Oh, oh my it's tight. God. And oh, an too. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's almost got it cinched up. She's almost got it cinched up. Oh, but Amanda's on the slip out here. If you're Jermaine, you run away. Durant, you never run away. Pass and miss him. If you're Jermaine, you run away. Just get out. Just get out. Get out. Get out. Look. No. Oh. That's just a mistake by Durant to be there. Not recognizing that now you got space. Get out to the center of the octagon. Oh, uh, what, what, right what strength right there by Amanda to throw her down like that. Nunez unofficially 7 of 10 on her takedown attempts. It's under two minutes to go here in round four. It's kind of crazy, though, because now Amanda's wrestling almost in a panic, right? It's like, I cannot be on my feet. I need to have this fight on the ground right now. That was a power move, too. I also think that she has so much dominance on the ground. But that was a wake-up call. That was yeah. a wake-up call. Well, she I mean, she's tired. Kind of trying. I mean, Amanda's yeah, tired. She's exhausted. You know, she's tired, and this is where she can rest. But Jermaine's just as tired. They're gonna get stood up here. Can't rest for too long. Yeah. Keith don't play that, man. He's huh. gonna get him up. Keith don't play that. Look at him. He's thinking about it. Get in there, Keith. You know you want to. <laughs> you know he does. <laughs> Look at his face. Oh, there's a big elbow. Okay, by now the you can. Now the you champ can. postured up. The champ got off some damage. But I mean, Amanda took 30 seconds to just lay there and rest. He's still thinking about it. He better, He's he, not better not anything. Leave. he better not stop this position. I bet he will. No. You will bet? I bet you five bucks. Five bucks. Ain't no way he starts him up. Don't Depends on what the... happens. He looks like he wants to. Come on, Keith. I need the time. <laughs> Peterson, don't you stand this thing up. <laughs> Hang on, Jermaine. <laughs> Nunez doing just enough to avoid a stand-up. Duranami trying to stall a little bit, control posture. I got 18 seconds to hey, win yeah, five yeah. bucks. That Rogan money is going to probably feel much better than normal <laughs> money, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> That Rogan five is going to be nice in my pocket. Die. 20 minutes Lost down. Five bucks. Dang. <laughs> Fifth and final round coming, folks. 
Now, this is where Amanda's been shining, right? The takedowns. There's a beautiful trip there. Just overwhelming strength in the grappling, and there's a nasty elbow from the champ. Now, this is where things got squirrely. Look at this. Locks up a triangle. I mean, if she was a higher level submission artist, this could have been the end of the career, or excuse me, the championship reign yeah. of Amanda Nunes. <laughs> but I mean, you mentioned right away. Uh, I'll tell you everything. I'll tell you the time. Don't worry about the time. Just got five more minutes. She has five minutes. She's desperate. She's desperate. Five minutes. Get her to the ground again. Use your elbows. I want one more takedown. One more takedown. Get a fight to the ground. Lend your elbows. Five more minutes, Amanda. She's desperate. Inspira para mim. Breathe for me. Control your control your attacks. Be smart. Amanda just said, "Hey, tell me the time." She said, yeah. "Well, how about oh, that?" Clarissa. Clarissa Shields is here, multiple division world champion boxer, of course, gold medal so in 2012. Bad. That's a bad girl right That's there. I mean, it's interesting that she's here watching this fight. Fight. I just tell you one thing: a man better not be going over there trying to box her. <laughs> That's, That's a different world. world. Yeah, it's a That's different world. world. Well, Jermaine Durandam has got to feel pretty good about her ability to extend Nunez into this fifth round. We'll see if oh. she can win it. Early takedown by the champ. Her eighth of the title fight. Want to go double or nothing? Yes. I definitely <laughs> want to go double or nothing. <laughs> I'm all in, actually. I can't tell you how much I'm in that they don't stand this thing up. Mike Brown told Amanda Nunez, one more takedown, then you got it. Like, that's going to be enough for you to retain your title. She went and got that takedown very early into this round. Let's see if she can end the fight like this. Because every second she's on the feet with Jermaine Durandamy, she's under duress. Jermaine, Jermaine just simply does not have the ability to keep her off when it comes to the grappling. She just can't. But if... Amanda doesn't watch her P's and Q's. She can get trapped up like she just did with that yeah. triangle. I mean, but, it, it, you know, there are very simple things that the randomly could be doing to try to advance her position on the bottom. Yes. First off, get a knee shield, right? Yes. Get your knee up and shield Amanda at the hips. Secondly, start fighting underhooks. Get into a side. Get to a hip to allow yourself to get up. Keith Peterson watching the action here closely, but Nunez staying busy enough. A couple short right hands there. But even this fight, right, says a lot about Amanda. Because there were times before where she was in fights like this, where she did not respond well. And right now, even though she's tired, she's got a tough opponent in front of her. She's responded, and she's still winning this fight going away. Well, this is the first fight in a long time where she's looked vulnerable. The first fight. She's dominant, she's winning, but she's shown vulnerability for the first time in a long time. In spots, right? Vulnerability yes. in spots, not overall. She went the distance with Valentina Shevchenko at UFC 215 back in 2017. That was a split decision win and yeah. the toughest fight that Nunes had had. Yeah. Well, since those older fights. But even that fight, right? Valentina and Amanda were just striking. And she could do that all day. She's had to really put in some work tonight on the ground uh, to, to keep Jermaine where she needed her to be. Well, if you're Duranami and you're looking for more than a moral victory, you got to get urgent here. Just over two minutes to go. Yeah, she should be in desperado mode. She should be putting the feet on the hips and kicking her off and flailing and just trying to get to her feet. We talked about that earlier. You know how she could use her feet to get distance. Well, when you get distance, that gives Amanda a chance to land something big. So she's not trying to give Amanda space. Crowd's getting restless. That works in your favor. Well, the ref had a quick trigger early in the fight with the stand-up. He has let Nunez work late in the fight. Yeah, he's very inconsistent in that regard, right? Well, he's just, I feel he's just waiting for Jermaine to pin her down. If Durandamy can pin her down, Peterson will stop this. He will stand them up. He wants to very badly. Head then body shot for Nunez.
but even from the bottom, right? The random he's kept there, your head locked on top. guard the whole time, right? You don't get away with a locked guard. You yeah. gotta open your guard if you're gonna get away from someone on top of you. Less than a minute now to go. Finally, Duran to me changes position, but once again, unable to escape from Nunez. Keep working. So an early takedown in this fifth and final round for Nunez, and Duran to me has not been able to get back up. Now some separation. But like even this, right? Like before, you worried about the power of Nunez. Now you gotta just get up. Right. Hoping for a Hail Mary up kick. It does not land. But now Nunez is in side control. And Amanda can go to work now. Well, it took 25 minutes, but another one bites the dust. Amanda Nunez leaned on the wrestling and the grappling chops to get it done tonight in the fifth defense of her Bantamweight title. Duranami just with no answers on the ground for Amanda Nunez tonight. All right, this fight replay brought to you by Never Off Bold Characters since 1872. I mean, right here, you watch Amanda get started. Big overhand right lands on Duran to me. Right away, got her attention. But then it was the wrestling and the grappling of the champ. I mean, it would have taken a basic half guard sweep from Duran to me to give herself a shot. But she doesn't know it. And Amanda Nunez, over and over, got to the legs. Get to round two. Big head kick by Jermaine Duran to me. Striking, right hand lands. Double jumping knee. Has got Amanda backing up, but Amanda got another takedown. Round three, very early in the round. Amanda gets her hands locked, back trip, puts the randomly back on her butt, but then takes a massive up kick. Pause it for a moment. Round four, this is where the fight went all Amanda Nunes. Double leg shot, take her down, a ton of ground control, beautiful elbow from the top. And I mean, just really working Jermaine over. Jermaine got this triangle tip off, got the top position, chased the finish. Amanda ended up taking her down again. Round five, early in the round. They told Amanda she needed one more. She got that one more, and she will retain her title once again. All right, the official decision is brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile and never miss a knockout with their reliable network and unlimited data. Here's Bruce Buffer with the cards. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 44, 49 46, and 49 45. For the winner, and still the undisputed USC Bantamweight Champion of the World.